Hi guys, um, in this video I'm going to, I'm going to talk about um, quadcopter frame and the props and motors and the electronics and how they combine to make a good flying quad that is smooth flying and then you are going to have a very good experience with flying a quad. The most important thing about a quad is that of course, firstly, the electronics. So the flight control board, as you know from my previous videos, I talk about them. It's basically what is pre-programmed in here to make the props turn certain way so that you can roll, pitch, so that you can fly forward, backwards, left or right, and do some turnings. So. How good is the um, flight control board? It depends on the processing power and also the firmware that's installed in it. So this will be constantly upgraded in better flight. So if you get the latest one, you're going to have more features. But the basic one is about the uh, uh, tuning. Basically the tuning that is how it's pre-programmed to make this fly smoothly so the next thing that you can see is the FPV camera FPV camera doesn't help the flying char characteristic of the quad so it just helps you to give FPV feedback a video to you so that you can fly FPV the most important thing that affects the uh, quad is the frame itself the motors this also applies to uh, the brushless version, it's just that you additionally you have the ESCs, but the ESCs for the brush one is built in to the board. So the most important thing about a quad is that it should have the least amount of vibration, so that the electronics board is not affected and it doesn't go like you know, shaking or flying off, drifting and it seems that you are out of control. So, in order to withstand uh, vibration, the frame has to be stiff enough. And also the frame has to have the basic shape, which is basically like an X shape or it can be H shape. The shape determines the aggressiveness or characteristic of the flight. So if you have the basic X shape, it will give you a very stable uh, flight characteristic. But if you have uh, like H shape, it will give you a more aggressive uh, flying characteristic. So in order to withstand uh, vibration, the frame has to be very very stiff. If there's any flex in it, you're going to uh, have a lot of vibration because then the material is too flexible, it will vibrate. And also the um, frame must be big enough to ensure that the vibrations are not concentrated uh, towards the middle of the frame. So for brush uh, type of uh, motors, a frame like the 90 millimeters up to about 110, uh, they should be alright because brush motors will normal, normally be placed in the hole, so it will cause vibration throughout the frame. But because they are not very uh, strong, the vibration will not be that. Uh, strong enough to affect the fight characteristic unless it is, it is so much that the uh, material just vibrate by itself and also the propellers when they move the sound also generates vibration so otherwise um, so with just a normal frame if you can keep the vibration to the minimum then it should be fine 
as long as it is not too small and it doesn't cause vibration to concentrate to the center of the quad. So in order to be to lessen vibration, this one has to be very stiff. And also the motors has the vibration has to be minimized to prevent it from going through the frame and also the props. They must be efficient enough not to generate uh, too much sound or too much vibration on the motors. So, in relation to the motors and the frame, when you choose the uh, motors, make sure that the motors um, rotation is not greater than the uh, natural frequency of the frame because if it goes greater than natural frequency of the frame it will generate vibration in the frame causing the frame to vibrate out of control so it has to have the right amount of power but not strong enough to generate natural, natural frequency of the frame to cause resonance in the frame itself and to cause a lot of vibration throughout the frame. And that also depends on the, the props. Um, if the props, props are not efficient uh, and if they are not properly balanced, they will cause further vibrations. So the best thing to minimize vibration for brush is to ensure that it is lessened by some rubber grommet here. And for brushless models, where the model sits on top, normally it doesn't really matter that much. But if you want to minimize it, you can soft mount it. But if you don't want to soft mount it, it also doesn't really matter that much. Provided the, uh, the motors is not too powerful to cause natural frequency vibration on the frame and causing resonance to go all over the frame. And make sure the propellers you have chosen are, are efficient and they are well balanced. The other thing to minimize vibration is to ensure that the flight control board uh, receives as minimal vibration as possible. So you may have to have like a soft mount thing on the flight control board. So that's how the uh, flight characteristic of the um, quad is affected by the frame, mostly by the vibration. If you can minimize vibration, if you choose the right uh, motors with enough, with sufficient power but not too much, and also the right blade and also well balanced blade, then you should have a very good flying quad. So I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Until next time, cheers.